Hello everybody, Sift here again with another tiny rogues run, the best action roguelike as of this moment. And um, yeah, at least in my opinion. And let's go with, today we're gonna play with uh, Thief, because why not? On crits, with a primary attack, your next primary attack also crits. Also he has 50% more crit damage in comparison to everybody else. And also he has the highest stats in comparison to everybody else, because he has 10 decks. Nobody is getting 11 points of stats in the beginning. Uh, and he also starts with alignment negative, so let's try to get into hell, I guess, by going into negative alignment, if I'm lucky enough. Lockpick and activate. Let's see my items real quick, and then we're gonna run. By the way, for the starting item, I chose to have six bombs, because you might find a secret room early, and then if you don't have bomb, you miss it. Dagger. Primary attacks deals damage, that's it, doesn't do anything. Uh, Thief Hood. This is actually a set item, okay. 50% crit hit damage. Wait a minute, does that mean I have 200, 300? Or uh, does that mean I have actually 250 with the item? Oh, I have 250 with the item. So if I take this out, I actually don't have a bonus. Well, that's bad. Anyway, this is a set item. He starts with a set. And it also allows attempting to pick a lock when you don't have keys. And the other thing is plus 5 dexterity. Ah, that's why we start with so much things. <laughs> okay, allows attempting to pick a lock. Ah, I'm a bit disappointed now in comparison to what I previously was. I'm gonna go with simple rewards over 10 gold. Let's now begin the run. Dagger opponents down. So, he actually does not have more stats, he just has stats from the items he starts with. Two bombs. Well, that was not worth it. Let's go with one dex, obviously. More weapon damage, more attack speed, more movement speed. Not, yeah, that's it, what it gives. We're gonna try to go full on heavy crit build, if we are lucky enough to get that. As we found our dex. Explode here, boom, let's see what we find. And we found a bunch of energy storage. Let's just put them all at the very end. These things, for one room, gives you stamina storage, and stamina storage is that you have one more stamina. So this is literally for bosses. Uh, let's go event, guaranteed, event's always good. Is this the... don't go alone? Yeah. Uh, he goes us a longbow, very far, and deals damage. Let's equip it and let's use the bow for now. Strength is a yes, I would say. There are a lot of daggers that deck, take get strength damage and also get dexterity damage. And gaining stats in general is good. Tavern is here early, I think it's useless for now with zero coins, let's just go for 10 souls, as that might be helpful. They're coming close, boom, we dagger them down. I mean, still the boat is more. Get my souls and go on. Uh, offhand or accessory, I would say let's start with accessory. Those most of the time are a bit more important than the offhand. Especially when you're using a bow that is double, uh, not double damage. What is it called? D dual handed, two handed. Let's continue attacking them. Dagger might be doing more. Nope, dagger is not going to be doing more. It doesn't even have an effect, man. And we got the win on the spider fight. Very nice, very easy. We're just going to rush through here in the beginning, as we always do. Get our guaranteed for rewards because I didn't get hit once. Here we go. Let's see. This is the offhand. A rare and epic, maybe? Nope, no rare, no epic. Everything is common. Very unlucky there. Grants fire damage. This is very good. It's free damage and it's also free burning. Increased non weapon damage. That's irrelevant to us. Grants 15% increased range damage. I mean, if I play ranged, this is good. And then grants three dexterity straight up. I'm gonna go with... We're gonna throw the ruby ring away later. Let's get the three dexterity. This is most likely gonna stay with us for the rest of the run. So uh, let's do that. Now, obviously, I would like to go with some kind of dagger that has some kind of benefit on crits. As long as I'm at least having the set item. Let's go dexterity, of course. And let's start smacking opponents. Be as far away as possible. Is this close-up better? It doesn't really help. Now, the only thing that the close-up has is that it has piercing, otherwise it's not really that good. Uncommon weapons, might as well go for a good weapon now. We found a dagger, a nice hunting knife. Very short range, primary attack. Uh, the same, critical hits with this weapon inflict bleed. That's it. Blowgun, ranged weapon, deals poison damage. And then, reinforced club, plus three, forget this, this is a strength weapon. So, either D or C and D. 2.3 attack speed, 1.7 attack speed. I might as well go for the dagger, man. Let's just go with what the build is supposed to be. So, this is a smidge better. Let's go with, obviously, um, dexterity here. We want these weapons to be like... You know, just attack speed. And then the bow here for the last snipe. Got him. There is no secret. And we got the first level. Let's see if I can find something crit-related. Theoretically, we should. I have a crit weapon in my hand. When you inflict bleed, you also inflict a stack of poison based on the same infliction damage. Okay. Uh, so there's that, I guess. What does bleed specifically do? 50% physical damage as a wound... As wound damage two times per second and poison. Eh, let's continue. Gain increased attack speed based on dexterity scaling. Grants two spinning blades orbitals. Range attacks gain harm and crushing hit chance at close range. So this is like a point blank build. I would say we go with the attack speed. This is this is the safest option. I might not go with bleed and poison build. Let's go with the safe option. Just straight up attack speed based on the scaling of the weapon. 
Might as well go with Intelligence. Just gain stats here early game. There is no real reason to risk anything whatsoever. Nice, that's gone. Shop and money. Money, obviously, we don't even have things for the shop. Things being money. <laughs> Uh, let's destroy this. Oh, I almost got shotgunned by that mole. That's good to know. The mole is dangerous to be close at. And once again, bombs come in clutch. And also, bombs come in clutch twice. And we got... Oh, is that a legendary weapon? No, it's just a grass blade, which is nature damage. Weapon range far. Beyond dexterity and crazy attack speed. It's a two-handed weapon, though. Uh, let's switch it here and see what this looks like, at least. Okay. I do enjoy this. This attacks pretty fast. Nature damage does nothing, right? Yeah, nature damage doesn't really do anything. What does this look like? Uh, I guess it looks safe. That's what it looks like. And I got another secret room. Wow, we're very lucky with a secret room today. The bombs, man. Instantly. Whoa, here we go. Golden skin. So we take this guaranteed. 50% crit hit damage. Insane. D&D is bad, though. Why D&D while it's a golden? Deadly is the crit damage. Primary attacks deal the damage. And then this weapon doubles its crit hit multiplier. What? Uh, do I understand that this thing now has, like, a crit hit? 600% crit damage. 600% crit damage. If this crits, everything's dead. Uh, reward choices are all set items. All set items. Let's go with set items here. Yeah, magic weapon is definitely relevant. Okay, mole. Just crit him once and he's dead. Whoa, 6,000 crit damage. I've never fought this mole boss, as far as I remember at least. Okay, stay a bit aware if I can do so. Let's throw the ranged weapon in. Go close again. Mole King. Okay, ranged weapon again. Not a good fight for us. And in general, most of the boss fights are not going to be good for us. Because of the exact same reason as... Whoa, look at this. Did you see his life just go down? Yeah, you're, you're going to come out and you're dead. Boom, boom. Didn't crit once. Let's go with the blade. That was crit twice, right? Nice. Defeat all world 2, floor 2 bosses. We got my souls. I perfected this fight too. We got my 39 souls. We're gonna go into that, of course. Uh, by the way, we are here on the general. We are uh, minus one on evil good, but chaotic and lawful is what this shop does. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. Detective coat. Five intelligence. Now, we are obviously not intelligence build. Uh, each point of intelligence additionally gives you luck. I don't really care about this. Uh, honka Honka Cloud Suit. So this is on take damage, triggering confetti explosion. Who cares about it, honestly? Made costume, paradigmally charm all enemies in the room, and then perfect service. A charming an enemy also inflicts vulnerability. Charming is they take more damage from far range. And then we got Later Hosen, which by the way is about to get nerfed, so let's maybe use it now. On non-triggered lucky hit shots, a beer mortar is shot. Not that that's useful for us at all. Uh, but this here, Oktoberfest Vigor, grants plus 10 to maximum twistiness. This is the broken part of that. So, um, yeah, because it's gonna get nerfed, I would say now is the chance to use that. And that's obviously going to the law shop. We do have enough souls to buy things here. Blood Vial summons a leech companion, which does melee damage, and each leech grants 10% increased damage dealt to health. And I can have two of these active, so that's straight up 20% uh, damage on health. Echo Shard, this is also a companion with just 20% more increased sound damage. I would prefer the, obviously, the 20% more damage on the leech. I will definitely buy the soul, so this is going to give us lawful. And as I tried to mention previously, uh, if you see here, we are minus one on evil good, but we're plus one on lawful and chaotic. And I would say we also go for the leech. I don't want to buy this. I don't think there was any reason to do that. These are going to get sold. Let's use the leech. Boom, boom. We got two of them now. They're going to be also be doing damage on their own too. So we, we got everything covered here as of what DPS is concerned. I would like to not spend things by mistake. And let's go into Dexterity, of course. So the idea now is we hope to crit. The moment we crit something, it should die. If we don't crit, it doesn't die. And my crit chance goes up by... I guess traits. So we need to find crit traits. I almost got hit there. Got him. The leeches do no damage whatsoever. Bombs against a simple chest. I'm gonna say bombs. Simple chest is good, don't get me wrong, but might as well go for the safe option here. What's my crit chance, man? What's up with that? Come on. Let's pop a bomb here. For the secret room that's still closed, of course. Crit, please? I guess not. So I'm at 5% crit chance right now. Or 6. Crit uh, chance goes up with intelligence, by the way. And let's go bombs and let's see what we find. Money. Nice. And a weapon. I'm, this is, this is going to give us two weapon choices this year. Because I have a metal regression that just activates. And we're going to go money. I don't care about those two weapons specifically. And this is going to be the queen bee as a boss. Guaranteed. As we just found the bees. The leeches are doing their the best. 
Nice crit, thousands of... Man, this weapon is really good when I get enough damage for this to be really, really good. Like, if I can get my crit chance up to 100%, this might even be the weapon of choice. With the fact that it rolled deadly and does 600% crit damage. Double crit damage. Of course, course. I'm not gonna go cursed. I'm never, ever, ever going... I, although I have this, I'm never going into that. Never. If it says cursed, we just don't take it. Straight up. It's like the worst mechanic in the game when it says, you know what, if you take this reward, you're gonna get cursed. Straight up, no. Is my answer to that. Crit, 1300. <laughs> Normally I do 90 damage, otherwise 1300. Strength, yes. It also gives us more uh, carrying capacity, which is pretty important. Randomly getting carrying capacity. I mean, carrying cap I mean, strength is the best add in, the, in general, in my opinion. It gives you carrying capacity, so you can equip better items. And then it also gives you damage, straight up, just, just damage. I just got my strength, let's go dexterity, of course. Let's bomb here, any secret room in the meanwhile? No, let's go on, and dexterity. Okay, let's hope for a crit. To get this done, or not. I got a crit. Nice. 1,800, and 1,200 got that guy before they left. Let's go, and let's go. Come on, man. Let's go, blades. Let's send blades out. We got my level. Let's find something that gives us guaranteed crits or increase my crit chance. That's what we want. Crit hit inflict fatigue. Uh, raise morale. On crit, fatigue. Fatigue does what? Fatigue does debuff that reduce movement speed of 25%. Increase damage taken from crits by 50. Ooh, yes. On dash, your next stat, no. On completing a combat encounter, you, without taking damage, gain a stack of raised morale. Raised morale is... Stackable buff that grants 10 increased damage dealt by you and your companions per stack. Stacks up to 10 times. Raised moral is lost when you take damage. Is this up to 100% damage? You know what? We're gonna go with this. Uh, increase fatigue so crits do even more damage. Dex and intel guaranteed. This is literally the best in slot. Like, the best roll we can possibly get is exactly this one. Dex, intel. Because dex gives us attack speed and um, damage. As my weapon is gonna be a dex damage. A uh, dex weapon. And intelligence gives us crit chance, which is obviously exactly what we want. Very nice. Now, specifically for talents, I would say I would like to get the assassin's mark. The assassin mark says that if you hit an opponent, it's a guaranteed crit. Uh, no, it marks an enemy, and if you hit him, it's a guaranteed crit. And then you also get a buff that gives you 20% crit chance for some seconds. By the way, my passive is that when I crit, I crit again. That's it. Uh, boots. I don't have boots, so let's go boots. Melee weapon. I mean, I do have a very powerful melee weapon. I will continue believing that this might be the weapon of choice. Let's continue with the dagger here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, reverse dash. Hopefully the one's gonna come off. Uh, bzz, whoa. Yeah, you bzzed us, and I'm gonna just stay away. That's the simplest solution. And now we can dagger. I think it's going for the shotgun effects. Yep. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it feels like I'm moving with the shots. And route felt like I got hit. I didn't get hit though. I'm hoping that the pets are gonna do something. Okay, it's in the middle now. It should be a win. Nice. I mean, I still believe the dagger is a better choice. We got the souls. We got the perfect. So that should give us four choices here. Very nice. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, common. Love it. What does this even do? <laughs> what is this? On dash, charm the nearest enemy. Charm is 25% more damage from ranged attacks. Useless. Completely useless for us. Grants increased bleed damage. Would be nice. Just the straight up plus one heart. I mean, I do have a helmet. I mean, all of these are helmets and I do have helmets. Grants 10% lucky hit chance with ranged weapons. I'm not a ranged weapon build. These are all useless for us. Might as well go with charming. Although this is also useless, but at least I can equip it. Because I don't have inventory space. And let's go on. Now we're on floor 3. That was floor 3 actually. Now we're on floor 4. I really hope we're gonna find... A pawn shop. And we found plus strength delusion intelligence. That's a no. Cursed bombs is also a no. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna go for the food. Pretty much forced. I, so I'm gonna lose 1% crit chance here and gain like some kind of damage. A small amount of damage that is. Let's actually play with the blade for the time being because this thing attacks pretty fast. And also, we have the charm now. Might as well do more damage. Uh, Dex and strength. <laughs> We're just looping the stats around. These items, by the way, are bad. Because you lose a stat to gain a stat. Like, gaining plus one dexterity is better than gaining a dexterity and losing a strength, by definition. So, I don't know why these items even exist. It's like, oh, you got a worse version than the version you classically get. Epic weapons, guaranteed, yes. Secret room here. Let's not be blind. And we found a chest money. Boom. Oh, it gave us a bomb. So, I used the bomb to get in there and it gave us a bomb. Nice. Did I not get the bomb? It felt like I didn't get the bomb. Eh, whatever. Let's go on the epic weapons. Now we're gonna get the best weapon in the game. 
Unstoppable deck of cards. A and A. And these are literally the stats I mostly care about. Mana, uh, unstoppable. 25%. Not very effective multiplier. So it does more damage if the opponent does not. Um, does not is not weak against this. I know. Primary attack. Did I just get a bomb out of nowhere land? I think that's what happened. On dash, swaps the thrown card. Blue recover mana on hit. Red, so this is obviously Twisted Fate. Deals damage on hit. Deals area damage and then stuns, right? <laughs> Yellow tracks the targets. Fair enough. Imp dagger. It's a dagger, so most likely part of the build. S on dex. Perfect. Short. Uh, poison damage because it's a poison. And then primary attacks deal damage. And then this weapon gains 75% crit hit multiplier depending on how evil you are. Right now getting 75 because I'm just evil once. Okay, this is good for us. Tempest Fan, A. This is a fan melee weapon. Slashing, hit multiplier times, also second attack. Cold damage, who cares? And then E Piano, I also don't care about this. It's double attack speed if you stay still. I'm not gonna play this, although it has the stats we care about. We're gonna go with a dagger, man. We're going with this dagger. It's an S on dexterity. Quantity minus one on the thing. Let's throw the starting dagger out. You switch, and let's see this thing. Okay, this attacks faster, at least that's good. I'm gonna go for the bomb. We don't have rerolls in the first place. Yeah, but this is even poisoning, and obviously poison is a permanent damage effect. So we got everything uh, helping us out. Let's also definitely use my range attacks when I can do so, especially when the opponents are dangerous. Get my two bombs, go on pawn shop. Thank you, game. Sell them. Sell literally everything. Sell everything, everything, everything. We don't need to keep anything. Nice. And I would even say let's sell this, because we're going to find another weapon regardless. And even if right now we're a bit off because of what we just did, uh, whatever. I would even say let's sell the boots. I, I think this is completely useless for us. Not helping us in any way. These are sh staying, and this is also going to stay. Might as well go for the tipsiness idea here if I can get it running. It might be good. Although crits is what I actually want to build, and maybe even having this is not a good idea. You know what, let's actually sell this. I want to go into that. Uh, we keep all the things we have, and let's go into plus one armor permanently. This is extremely lucky that we roll that. This was literally a high roll. Good thing that this poison is poison. The, the weapon being poisoned, by the way, really helps with DPS, and it's definitely going to help us with boss DPS. Okay, let's get the permanent armor. Very nice. Permanent mana. I mean, <laughs> I guess we go to tavern is what I would say. Permanent mana is not really that good. Tavern, we can find so many good things. Permanent mana is useless for us, actually. Okay, we found the chest, we found the reroll, we found enhance. Uh, what do you do, by the way? This is it. Okay, he's not good. Uh, let's go with none of these. Let's reroll. And now we hope for the best. Which is the dice guy. And he isn't here. So what? What? The reason why I rolled is not here. <laughs> what do you have? Rum for lucky hit. Lucky hits are better crits, right? And then beer for just straight up damage and damage over time. And what do you sell? There is also this guy here on the left that sells. Let's see. He sells 10% uh, increased melee attack speed. Oh, let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with the melee attack speed. Although that's so much money. Yeah, regardless, let's do it. We're going to drink both of these. Clock, 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 clock. And off we go, I would say. We have two buffs. Yeah, let's go strength. Yeah, my attack speed is a bit through the roof now. I do enjoy this. You imagine if I had 10 of these stacks, right? 100% attack speed or whatnot. That's why Tipsness is getting nerfed, by the way. Okay, let's take this. Boots, nice. Good thing I threw them away. And accessories. I mean, boots have things like dashes and whatnot, so I think boots is the play. Hey, Vampire, you're at the 10 poison. Whoa, almost got hit there. I really hate the curse, of course. Just getting hit is okay. Getting cursed is not okay. It just appears and then dashes towards you, so this is an easy dodge and also an easy hit. Nice, got him. And because I crit him, I also did the vulnerable thing. I thought he's gonna touch us. Whoop, avoid. Triple shots. Yeah, the play here is to be as far away as possible. So he has a huge zone that he needs to traverse. He actually damaged you. Whoa, that could have easily destroyed us. Nice, and now we won, I think, because of the poison. No, yes. Nice. And we won off the next one. This was another perfect room, so we should be gaining uh, four choices. Very nice. And this is the first item, and it's epic. We found epic boots. Nice. Let's see what we found. Evade. Very good. So evade prevents one hit of damage taken, refreshes after completing five combatant cards without taking damage or evading. Or evading. Okay, fair enough. Increased periodical rate. That's poison damage, by the way. 
Unarmed attacks initially to trigger a laser projectile that deal 134 damage. Unarmed attacks. So this is, you play with unarmed build pretty much. And then Grand Sweeps increase stamina recovery speed. What is this? It's a dress. I do enjoy this more than what I enjoy this. I mean, this is godlike. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take the, you take one less damage every five fights. As long as you don't get hit within those five fights. So th th that's gonna save us a lot of health. Dexterity, we don't even need to look into that. Whoop, I have my things open. Give me a second to just straight up close everything. Done. I'm back. Uh, I didn't even pause or do anything else. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we got those boys. Oh, these are anti... They are resisting my weapon. Okay, that's good to know. We are not strong, strong in this zone. Come on, give me the Assassin's Mark. Give me the Assassin's Mark. That's going to be the game changer. When you deal a crit or a ruthless hit, game Berserk. Berserk is... It's have Harmston more top and damage. Oh, that's it. So you so you go on super high roll mode. Harmston increase stats from dexterity, but gain no stats from strength and intelligence. Harmston crit hit multiplier at close range. We we'll go with this. Under 50% close range damage. Go dexterity intelligence. Which obviously I am in close range build regardless. Whoop. I want to not get destroyed by these boys. What are they? Mortar? What's happening? Oktoberfest is what they are. They're also poison is what they are. And you're gone. Nice. So I'm going full on madness mode here. With the crits on close range. Uh, run away. Got him. Packing shots on the opponents here. Oh, my second weapon is punches. Nice. <laughs> Dexterity. Strength plus intelligence minus. I'm gonna go no on that. Let's go bombs. I mean, yes, I do want the levels to get my... Uh, what are they called? My passives fast so that I become broken. Because passives is what make you broken in this game. Alongside, obviously, a godlike weapon. And this weapon is not the weapon I'm gonna keep. It is good, don't get me wrong, but I, I'm searching for a legendary, of course. Dexterity, that's nice. We are very lucky today. Maybe should have gone with a double dex. I popped a bomb there in the corner. I just run away from the tracking shots. How long do these last? They last forever. You need to run them into walls. Imagine. Nice. Let's go here. Enhance the weapon. That's also nice to have. Throw it a bit deeper into this. Definitely go for events. Always events. Oh, this is a triple chest for infinite money or something. Bombs, bombs, and money. Okay, these guys were evil. <laughs> let's go with... I guess let's go craft the weapon. I wouldn't really use this chest. I'm not going to open that chest. Let's go craft the weapon. Because the weapon's pretty good. Uh, I would say craft it twice. That's plus two, it's okay. Let's go here. Dexterity, of course. Uh, actually, not dexterity, but dexterity and intelligence. One of the better things that we can roll. Almost got destroyed there. That's the main downside with this build, that they can just throw a shot at your face. At least charm, at least body armor. Um, I'm missing... Uh, let's go body armor. Let's go. Although charms are harder to find. Goes in the corner. Laser beams. We run up with them. Dash through. Stay close for a crit, maybe. Crit. No, that was a mistake. Ah, oh, we lost evasion. That was a mistake on my end. A huge mistake. I dashed towards the wrong direction. I don't have ranged weapons, by the way. Got him, I guess. I was going to the middle. It's going to do the mini explosions again. What does it change? It's just more explosions. I don't know what it changes. Oh, this is pretty dangerous. No, it's not. Dash through, we got him, nice. So I lost the evasion and therefore it counts as I got the hit, therefore I'm not gonna get the double the, the four choices here. But it's okay. As long as I don't get it five times, this is literally a free hit taken. So what is this, vampire armor? Devil cloak, it grants 5% cursed hit chance depending on how evil you are. Cursed increases cursed hit chance. Cursed hits have a, to succeed two rolls to deal a crit and define a chance to trigger a certain effects on hit. So this is it, Sinister Pact. Your cursed hits deal guaranteed crits. Okay, so it, it just brings you into a completely different build. Uh, increased damage dealt to fiends. Oh, this is where we go for. Five dexterity, and then each point of dexterity additionally gives you minimum damage. Well, we're going to this. Five dexterity. This is free. Free damage, free attack speed, loss up for sure. This is lawful, by the way. Did I already mention this? Yes, I did. <laughs> Chest is good always. Double keys is good. Increase movement speed. 5% is a joke, of course. I'm gonna go with this and this. 
And now we're gonna also go with the movement speed, why not? And I think we're ready to go. What did the chest give us? We're gonna get it right now. Boom, it gave us three bombs and a level. Nope, a crafting and a level. Level up. Boom, 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 dun, dun, dun. Hits with primary attack grant a stack of rage. That's good. Rage is a stackable of motion buff that grants 4% increase attack speed per stack. Stacks last for 4 seconds and up to 10. So this is 40% attack speed. Uh, once again, double the stats from dexterity, but not from the rest. Uh, I, th I don't think it's a good idea because... Is that not a good idea? How much dexterity do I have? 31 dexterity? Oh, this is the best idea. 31 dexterity is insane. Where's my dexterity? Where, where are the stats? Here they are. 31 dexterity is insane. I I think this is the play, man. Get increased stats from your companion. I don't have any. Here we go here. Okay, so now I have stats of 61 dexterity pretty much. Yep, but it takes me through the roof. But I don't have strength gain and intelligence gain anymore. And my weapons still gain the same thing, though. Let's go. That was OP. OP. This looks like a very powerful build to me. My attack speed now literally almost doubled. My movement speed is also really good. Look at this. We're gaining damage, increased attack speed, 2%, and 1% increased movement speed. The weapon is plus 2. Uh, let's go. I just want the legendary dagger if I can. Oh, this is a new zone I've never been before in. Attack speed like crazy. If I crit, they're dead. I need to get some kind of crit chance, by the way. Something. I need something to give us crit chance. We found bombs. This does not give us crit chance anymore, by the way. What is this? Nunchaku. Uh, primary attack spins two flails. I'm gonna see what it does. It's stupid. That's what it does. This is useless for us. I'm gonna go money. I mean, I need money anyway. Dexterity. Uh, intelligence at this point literally gives us weapon damage if the weapon is an intelligence weapon. Because that's still a thing. And uh, it also gives me nothing else. Wait a minute. Does that mean I lost my crit chance? If I only have 5% crit chance, it should be on offense. Yep, I only have 5% crit chance. <laughs> okay, we need to get crit chance. Rare weapon. Uh, Ranged weapon. No, we're gonna go rare weapon. So, this is a frost spear. It's a spear, whatever. The hungry blade, damage, primer. On kill gain hunger. Hunger is a buff that grants 300% crit hit multiplier with a hungry blade and lasts for 4 seconds. So, if you kill something, it becomes busted. My weapon? No. And this is Yumi. 10% crit hit chance, that's good. Deal thrusting damage. The dexterity scaling of this weapon scales with its upgrade level. The dexterity scaling... Sc oh, so if you level this up, it, the dexterity becomes better. You know what? I'm gonna actually have that as my secondary weapon. And it attacks like crazy. We got dex. Let's go. I can just be as far away from everything as I want. Of course, by just using the daggers, everything dies instantly. But still, at least I can have range here. Bye bye, you guys. Da, 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 da. Nice, got him. I need tracking shots if possible. Let's go a secret. Crit chance on this is good. Enhance a weapon. I mean, could switch the dagger from poison to something else. Let's try to switch the dagger from poison to something else. It's all shocking, so it's lightning now. Eh, same thing. Lightning increases the damage they take, so maybe even better. Stool shop against the blessing. Let's go stool shop. And it's selling us a flask, two keys. Let's get the two keys and that's it. I don't need the energy surge for the 15th time. Max mana, who cares? Money is the play. Why does this thing have armor? I don't know. So we now no longer uh, apply poison, but we apply lightning. And lightning is also as, as good. Evade, recharge, because I didn't get hit. Armor piece. Should I craft this weapon to a plus three and then also throw it into a plus four? Let's do that. That's gonna be the weapon of choice until I get a legendary. It's as simple as that. So now it's a plus four shocking imp. And this bow here definitely wants to get upgraded. Let's actually upgrade it once. So now it's gonna be like a C weapon or something. B. Aha. This is a very good thing. It's actually a really decent weapon. Uh, ranged weapon or blessing? Let's go blessing, I guess. Let's go. Let's not forget that close range just straight up explode opponents. It seems to have a very, very small tracking. Not eh, just straight up, very, very small tracking. Grants a random consumable. Grants Endeavor Blessing, which is 25%. Uh, do more 25% more damage on not very effective opponents. Last one, Floor. I guess if the boss has that weakness, I don't know. I would say we go Charm. And let's go on. We're obviously going to destroy this with a dagger. This is the first time I'm fighting this thing, so I don't know what it even does. Oh, this is super effective. Let's actually stay away because once again, I don't really know what it does. Just slowly drip away. Okay, got it. Very easy. 
I'm still gonna stay away from this madness that's happening right now. I got the evasion. No, oh, I got hit. I didn't have dashes. You know what I realized? And I'm gonna say this, hoping that the dev is gonna hear this. For some reason, and every all the new bosses are harder than the old bosses. And not because I don't know them. They have like more patterns, more projectiles, more surroundings, explosions. Like so many more new things are happening on the new bosses. The old bosses are just like a line attack. It goes away, it just moves around. Without these lightning boots. Plus two intelligence, that's useless for us, we don't skill intelligence more. Grants 125% crit hit multiplier, while in mana burnout, that's for a mana build, we're not mana build. Grants 75% load capacity. Uh, I mean, if I find a god item that I need, then this is guaranteed needed to allow me to have that on us. I think we're gonna just throw away the... No, no, not the leeches. The nonchaku. Let's throw this away, I don't care. Let's take this and go. These boots are useful for us. I should drink these ev evasion potions on bosses I've never seen before. Like this one. I did not want to get hit. I mean, I mainly am sad about the shield we lost. Dexterity and strength guaranteed, yes. Once again, even though strength does not really give, gain us anything, uh, give us damage. Uh, yeah, it doesn't give us anything, but it still gives us damage if the weapon is scaling strength. That's what I think is happening. I'd be wrong about that. Let's hit them with a ranged weapon that has a smidge of tracking. Nice, you're done, you're done, and you're also done. Very nice. 1700 damage there, boom, got another level. Melee weapon against set item. We're gonna go set item, assuming that's gonna give us this. Okay, we're gonna stay close to do crazy damage. If I crit ever, didn't crit once. Stay away. They got shielding for some reason. Smack this guy again. I'm not critting, man. That 5% crit chance is very low. I either need to increase my luck, obviously, or I need to straight up get a passive that says crits. And I, I, I would say I want the passive that says crits. So I, I want the assassin's mark. I want straight up. Assassin's mark, that's it. Nothing else. Give me the set item. Nope. Bear pelt. The strength version. Each point of strength gives additional two-handed weapon damage. Well, that's useless. Mm, you know what? Let's just drink one of these. I'm not even using them, man. Bomb for a lot of gold. That's a yes. Dagger, crit, crit. I crit once there. Stay away. I got the Yeti dead. Nice. Hit everything else too. The leeches are really mixing me up here. Let's pop a bomb on the secret room. Maybe we'll hit an opponent with it. Nice, nothing we won. Very nice. Let's also get a good old coinage. Let's see if I can get a god weapon here. It's a focus sash. Defy death. Nice. An accessory. I don't even have an accessory, so we literally just got a free revive. It's not yet set in, but it's gonna be in a moment. It's machine gun again. So I'm seeing some frost mans here. I'm gonna assume that the boss is gonna be some kind of frost cone man or something. Okay, we hit whatever opponents we want. Man, this bow actually is very lucky. I mean, I'm very lucky that this bow came along. Focus Sasha tuned. Nice. So now I got the revive. A pawn shop. Thank you, game. We're gonna keep the bow this time. This also stays. Evade is good and all, but this definitely stays. Th this here. This goes. Because right now I have... I'm not really maxed out on equipment, but I'm only missing one offhand. And I don't know, this thing says crown. Th this is 15 equipment load. Well, the chance is very high that I'm gonna... Oh, we definitely want this man. Let's go armory to fit my shielding for free. Okay, and definitely level up this bow twice. Nice. Now it's gonna be a super duper heavy weapon. Because now it is a S weapon. We're gonna pop the strength here, obviously. Because... Does that even make sense? I should not have popped the strength. Well, I'm not gonna go to the strength now. Definitely going into the strength. Ooh, look at all those crits there. Uh, by the way, the reason why we're getting so many crits is when I crit once, I crit twice. And then I guess the other one was another lucky crit. So I crit once, then I crit for free twice, and then I crit again another time, and then I crit twice. Come on, give me Assassin's Mark, please. Each point of dexterity additionally grants lucky hit chance, godlike. On dash mark, the nearest enemy with Ascentix Mark. No, that's not what I want. On dash, repeat your next attack. Ascentix Mark is you do maximum damage, and then your minimum damage becomes 50% more. Lucky, increase lucky hit chance. Lucky hits, roll two times for crits, and define a chance to trigger a certain effects on hit. Currently, lucky hit chance zero, and this is gonna instantly bring us up to 74. Which is insane, man. 
Who bombs or souls? Let's go souls. So now I have an insanely higher chance to crit. I'm literally just missing the assassin's mark. The moment I get the assassin's mark, we have infinite crits. Boom, 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 boom. You're gone. Nice. Get my souls. Body armor or all of them are epic. All of them are epic is obviously the choice. Ice dragon. Okay. I'm gonna just stay away and we're gonna play this with uh, the bow. Because this enemy seems to have forced uh, dodge mechanics. Okay, whatever that was. Laser beam is incoming. No. No. Okay, I got whatever damage I cut good in. Okay, got him. Got him. Nice, 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 nice. When they come close, we do so much more damage. I got a perfect on this. That's nice. Did I get a perfect on the whole floor? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a perfect on the whole floor. All of these are epic. Because of meta progression, by the way, is why I have all of these. What is this? It's a battering. Suppression. Suppression is boss life. Grant 30% increased melee damage dealt to bosses. So this is a boss layer item, obviously. Dragon scale shield. How much inventory? I cannot equip this, you see? <laughs> so I can trade, for example, evade or suppression and block. Uh, grants plus one maximum companions. Ooh, that's cool. I mean, for us, that means 20% more damage because I'm going to have two more leeches. This is an accessory, so it goes here. Refreshes each floor. Death Defy refreshes each floor. Okay. And 75 to 150 necrotic damage to melee attacks. Offhand. Ooh, this is good. Uh, what does necrotic? All necrotic damage inflicts necrosis. Necrosis is then necrotic damage over time. Like ailment that is 50% necrotic inflict damage as necrotic damage two times per second or eight seconds. So it's a slow damage. Lucky hits from primary attacks. Guaranteed cursed hits with your next primary attack. Cursed hits from primary attacks. Guaranteed a lucky hit with your next... No, that's, that's irrelevant to us. Okay, so I think we go with the tooth. And we also equip the boots for capacity. That's what I believe is the play. And uh, yeah, this accessory for some reason has equip load. This, for example, does not. And this is also very heavy. Man, this 3% more melee damage to bosses specifically. No, 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 no. We're gonna go here. Let's get necrotic damage. Let's also do necrotic damage. And I think that's the play. We're gonna buy this. Obviously, it's only on the dagger when it activates. So when I'm on the dagger, I am encumbered. We're gonna now have this equipped. Now we instantly are no longer encumbered. And I think we're ready to go. We lose the evade. Which is like a lot of protection. But we get the damage. Anti-curse. Am I cursed? Is there any chance I'm cursed? And my luck should be here in general. No, it's on misc. No, we have no luck, no curse. And I'm gonna definitely go with two bombs. And also definitely go with two keys. And I don't need this. I already have issues with inventory spacing. So, uh, yeah. This is a crown. So this is gonna go away. And then when that goes away, this also goes away. This five dexterity. Okay, maybe it's not gonna go away. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's hope I'm gonna find the crown, man. That's what I'm waiting for. I get the crown where... Oof. Beef. Uh, I will continue going for strength. Two bombs. Nah, let's go with strength. Two bombs are a bit irrelevant. 5,000 damage right there. Let's run through. I'm coming, man. Got him. Okay, stay away from everything. Got him. And got this guy too. Nice. Is it a good idea the way I'm playing it? I don't know. Max man is useless. Multiple potions is also useless. I don't have dice though. I guess max mana because you don't know what random dagger we're gonna have later. I, I, I'm i not aware if I'm somehow gonna have some kind of magic dagger or mana dagger. Because there are things like that in the game. So might as well have a bit more mana to do a bit more damage. I'm gonna play with bow now obviously. Bye bye you. The fact that I got this crazy lucky hit chance by the way is really gonna carry us. Let's get the mana. Thank you. Uh, random blessing or money. We're gonna go money. We're obviously super poor. Destroy these guys. It wasn't fast enough. Oh, I almost got hit there. So the boss is gonna be Poseidon. I'm kidding. I just missed on getting hit there completely randomly. Nice. Got him. Money. Ooh, get the best in slot. And also secret room. Another enhancement buff. Once again, shocking. Open up. Got him in time. That's not a good idea what I'm doing here. Nice. <laughs> Got those. That guy's also necrotic. Boss are also going to be necrotic, which is really helpful. Secret, no. 
shop normal or soul hard soul hard is my play i would say we do have don't really have that much money for the shop i'm gonna allow you to even touch the wall these guys shoot when they touch the wall so if you run them down before they do that they're not shooting man i'm getting mixed up by my stupid pets okay we got dexterity this thing is luck like chance two lucky chance not one because i'm gaining double this stuff you guys are not gonna survive this. Dot, 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 dot. Hit the ranged attackers. Stay away from the bulls. Man, having a global a global tracking weapon is really good. Nice. And we roll tomes or armor repair and crafting. I mean, my weapons are literally fully crafted. I guess I can go tomes. Maybe I'm gonna find something. You never know. You never know. That's laser beam enemies. Get those guys down. Whoop. Oh, I tried to dodge, man. I, I I tried to dodge, literally. I was trying to predict that. I failed at it. It is what it is. So, uh, Sharpshooter. While you have a mark reward, your primary attacks are far range. Nope. A grand 10 power per soul heart. Well, both of these are useless for us. Power is a stat that by default it quotes a 1% increase damage and 1% increase area of effect per point of power. You print no power. Yeah, I don't want any of these. Let's go. This could have been something, by the way, but I don't have a mark reward. By mark reward, obviously, we mean the assassin mark. Once again, I'm not gonna go cursed ever. I don't care if it's coins or whatnot. I, I don't care what it is. I'm not going curses. Because you can easily get cursed by getting hit. Just straight up getting hit curses you. So, definitely don't want to risk uh, wasting my anti-curse on a forced... On a non-first cursed. First cursed? First cursed? I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go with money here. Women is not really that much needed. Got that guy. Got that guy too, I would say. Nice, got him. I don't really have... It would be nice if I had the poison on the bow. Although the 10% crit chance obviously is what we want on the bow. Is we are crit build. Do we do what? Do we want that? I don't know. We got the money. Safe bet. All are rare. <laughs> Definitely go with the all are rare. And it's obviously uh, the good old Lago. Let's run close to destroy him fast. Before the, it begins the fight. I'm gonna go away from there. Close again. Laser, laser, and then it runs towards us. Is that what the... Yeah, that's what the fight is. Got him. Nice. Now he does what? Okay, now he goes under. Pearson rushes us. Okay, fair enough. That's easy to handle. A Pierce rushes us, and we just follow him. As long as I follow him while he rushes us, it's a very easy fight. Da -da 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 -da. Done. And now he is low life with a bunch of poison. And we won. Nice. And that was a perfect, but it was not an area perfect because... I uh, got it. So the perfect on bosses gives me more souls. The perfect on the area as a whole gives me more choices here. So we get only three choices. So we high roll. This is rare, rare, epic. Ruben, on completion, combat encounter, room without taking damage, gain concentration. Wait, what? Is this not the thing I had? I think this is the... I had that as a choice for... Uh, what are these called? The ascension levels. I don't know what these are called. Well, traits. Uh, grants a sea urchin orbital. Who cares about orbitals? A non-triggered lucky hit. So non-triggered means that weapon attack. Shoot a barrage of three fireballs dealing damage. That's nice for a helmet. So we lose a crit hit chance and the locking thing. And we gain fireballs on guarantee. I mean, all my attacks are lucky crits at this point. I have 78% lucky hit crit chance. So this is everything. This is concentration. That's up to 100% damage. I'm gonna go with the fireballs, and I'm gonna equip it. And now we no longer have the lockpicking, but who cares about the lockpicking? I do care about the 5% dexterity we gain from this, though. But I don't care about the 50% crit damage that the other thing is providing us with. Okay, here we go. Grants Tome again, or magic weapons. We have not found a single dice room. Okay, so now we're actually shooting out fireballs. Which are also tracking. And we send, like, 50,000 of them. Yeah, look how many of these we're shooting out. Nice. So now we also have a apply. Uh, we also now apply burn <laughs> alongside everything else we're doing. Why are the fireballs going into wherever land? We got them once again. If we go dagger, spellblade makes swords drain mana. Additionally, each point of mana grants ten percent more attack speed to mana draining weapons. Haha! Is this a sword? No, this is dagger. Useless. And this is static blow on inflicting the maximum amount of shock. Trigger the. Attacks, consumes them, and does damage. Lightning strike, cannot inflict shock. Yeah. Epic weapons, let's go. Maybe a dagger. There is a dagger. 
Soul Thief, Thief Dagger. It just so happens that it is a magic weapon as I predicted we might get. A and B. Attack per second, whatever. Uh, this weapon gains 5% crit hit multiplier per soul you have. 220 crit hit multiplier. This is 750. This is 200 damage. This is two. Man, that's insane. Sickle. That's a sickle. It's not a... Each point of strength grants critical hit. That's useless. Uh, Chlor Blast Bow. Yeah, we don't care about that either. I mean, this is an S bow, but we also have an S bow anyway. And this has crit chance. This has nothing. I'm gonna go with this. I wanna see that in the first place. Shocking Imp. 50% crit damage or fireballs. Actually, let's go with 50% crit damage. Uh, forget this damn sewage here, drink it, whatever. Okay, this also looks cool. First of all, it has more range than this thing. Yeah, let's try this money, I would say. Can I crit, please? I guess I am trying to crit. Forget it, let's go with the bow. Okay, these do not do as much damage as the previous one was doing. Okay. Now this definitely does more damage. Especially because it applies buffs. Debuffs. I think I got hit there, but I didn't. That was lucky. Nice, that went well. I, I hear the luck effect. Nice pawn shop. Let's go for that. Uh, sell the mask. I do prefer the crit, crit damage. Sell this thing. Not bad. It's not bad. But I do prefer the thing I have. Right now I have 15% crit chance. And this has... I would say... Oh, I have 15 because of the weapon. Otherwise, I have 5. Once again. Uh, sell the evade. We stick to this. Yeah, I mean, this is 5 equip. It might easily become 15 or 20. This is 15 equip. Might easily become 30. So, let's just sell that. We're sticking to the plan. Resin guaranteed no. For a curse. Lose health for... I guess. Could have been a mimic. It was not a mimic. You guys are dead. Nice. 3,000 crit damage there. I want to become more evil. By the way, becoming evil is... Was that the 7,000 damage crit there? 5,000. Yeah, we do a lot of damage. Lose a heart. Hopefully it's this hard and not that. I hate that that happened, but I can't do anything about it. Grants plus one lightning weapon upgrade level. My weapon is not a lightning weapon. That was useless. Strength intelligence. Also useless. This was completely bad and useless. There was no reason for me to do that. Not worth it in any way, shape, or form. Arrow shots from afar. What are these enemies? Okay, based on the enemies I'm seeing right now that I've never seen before, the boss is gonna be something weird. Guaranteed event. Although set, I ah, guaranteed event. Okay, we're gonna call something here. Interact, interact, interact. Page star one. Star, 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 we don't know. Sun, star, star, we don't know. Moon, star, star, we don't know. Star, 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 yeah, we don't know any of these. So we're gonna try to go moon, moon, moon. Page two, star, star, sun. Okay, whatever. Page three, I'm gonna go moon, moon, moon. Symbol. Let's make it into a moon. Moon and moon. Let's go triple moon. It gave us. What is this? Uh, rusty key worth at least five coins. Interact, interact. It seems to require a special key. The rusty key. Let's open the right one. Boom, and we got click, you open the lock, but the key uh, crumbled to dust. A legendary architect's hat. So, during combat, periodically spawn a rune circle every 10 seconds. Standing in the circle gives you 100% crit chance. Okay. Guess what we found. <laughs> so, how often does this activate? It, I'm gonna have it active on the next room. Tavern is here, we go in the tavern. I have enough money. Okay, enhance. Chest. What do you give, Saki, I'm assuming? Tips to suck about the sake. Melee crit hit chance. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, again. I'm gonna drink these both right now. And then not only that, but I'm gonna drink more. Let's go with bombs. Buy like a couple. Okay, about 75. Uh, I would say we buy more sake to have it with us. Because crit hit chance is like literally the best in slot for us. And, uh... You know what? I'm even gonna say we throw away the enhancing... I'm okay with shocking. Shock increases the damage that the, uh, we do to opponents, so let's throw these out. I don't care about enhancing anything anymore. Let's just go with more sake. 
I think at 3 we're okay. We will need inventory space. Let's reroll this. 55 coins is enough for literally one purchase. That's the reroll guy who is not here. We got the anti curse guy. Well, I'm not gonna use any of these at all. Uh, resin. Because ranged weapons is like, who cares? I mean, ranged weapons is not who cares. This is a good weapon, but... Let's go resin. This one, we have a high crit chance. You're dead instantly. Whoop. Da -da 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 -da. Laser is done. Got him. And now I uh, attuned to the thing. Multiple potions. That's just a bunch of buffs. Melee weapon might give us a dagger. So I want to see when this random circle appears and how big it is. You're not serious that it's this small. And I need to be in there. Yeah, that's useless. That's a completely useless item. <laughs> completely and utterly useless for me. It's too too small. So you're gone. You join. Crit damage. Let's see what we can get out of this. A useless weapon is what we get out of that. I'm not going to even pick it up. I guess I'm never using these, man. That's money. That's why I'm taking it. Gloves. I have dexterity gloves. Armor? Nah. I'm still not finding dice. Unbelievable. This is killing my run, but it's okay. Uh, let's go. First of all, does this give you money even after the fact? It doesn't. Uh, let's go gloves. Who knows what gloves we might find. Amalgamation. Never fought this enemy before. Okay, one can only hope that this is gonna die fast. It's not really dying fast. Oh, you know what? Stay away. Let's stay away. Okay, it's shooting random weird shots. Easy enough to dodge. Maybe those dashes were not a good idea. Okay, let's go close. It goes into the wall. This has a lot of life. Or I'm not doing damage. But I don't think we're not doing damage. i stay away. Whoop, whoop. Nope. Stay away as always. Rush through that. Dagger him. Let's go away. Abomination. Okay, so this is the same as previously, but this time with lasers. This feels really anxiety inducing. I should have gotten hit there, but luck is with us sometimes. No, you're not allowed to go anywhere. Go on. Got him. Woo. That was an easy boss, I have to say. You just slow play them, stay away. As long as you have a ranged weapon, should be beatable. And we have four traces, very nice. So I perfected the whole area. Boxing gloves or something. Fire damage to melee attacks. I mean, right now I have poison damage on melee attacks and lightning damage on melee attacks. So this is poison damage on melee attacks. This is a lot of fire damage. I like that. On dash, your next primary attack is a ruthless hit. Ruthless is a guaranteed high-end damage. On the, on the tally of 10 primary attacks, we are attacking pretty fast. Shoot three seeking missiles at the nearest enemy, dealing a lot of damage. So we either go with straight up... Do, so let's say we attack 10 times with this active. Attacking 10 times with this active is 600 to 1,400 damage. This shoots 3 of 1,000 to 1,600 damage. Right? So I think this is better. What is this? Dinderlin. Uh, we could have had the tipsiness Oktoberfest now. Yeah, imagine if I had this and I was just drinking all the sacks. We would have had a harm crit chance right there and there. Yeah, but I, I would need so many different things going on. I mean, what is this giving as a set? Each point of the dexterity gives you high end damage. Yeah, this is good. Um, is this better than 5 dexterity? The lockpick is irrelevant. I would say it is. I would say it is. We take this, throw this on the ground. We're never going back on that idea. This needs a crown, so this is also going to go. Nice. So let's run. Let's run it. In the same vein, I can also equip the other thing, right? In the same vein, I can also equip this now. Actually, this is useless. This is only useful for the bow. Like, uh, sitting with a bow somewhere. Intelligence for the level. I mean, I'm literally only missing one level, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's go with a potion. By the way, I don't think it's worth it. I'm obviously referencing the fact that I will find them at some point. When they come close to me, we attack with them. Nope, didn't get him. I'm also shooting out all those rockets. Got him, nice. I really enjoy that you can really easily and quickly change weapons on the fly. Luck potion, the best potion in the game. Throw this out, bring this, drink this, go. Always just drink the luck the moment you get the chance to do so. And here is the dexterity I was assuming we're gonna get at some point. We just did a lot of damage there for very quick. Whoop, whoop. Dagger them to death. Nice, dagger them to death. 
Boom, got my dexterity and my final level. Come on, assassin's mark, assassin's mark, assassin's mark. Okay, uh, we didn't get assassin's mark, I have it roll. On, on the tally of 10 primary attacks, gain trigger mania. Trigger mania is 100% increased trigger damage. Uh, no, lucky hit, for example, is trigger damage. Nah, all range damage is always considered to be at close range. Oh, wait, this fits with... Didn't we have something that said something about close range? 150% multiple damage at close range. Yeah, but will I be a... Ra I want to stick with daggers. On dash, trigger, and ancestral goat. You know what? We're rolling these. Here we go. Found the assassin mark. Thank you. Your modifiers, movement speed, also apply attack speed. We have 40% movement speed. So this is 40% attack speed right here. Enemies take increased damage equal to the reduction of their movement speed. Oh, this is 40% damage? No, 30, this is 40% attack speed? This is the thing I wanted. Periodically mark the lowest health enemy with Rogue's Mark every 4 seconds. Rogue's Mark is a mark that guarantees a crit and gives you the Rogue's reward when triggered. Lasts until triggered. Rogue's reward is a mark reward buff that gives you 20% crit chance. So this is... The first hit is guaranteed and then for 8 seconds you get 20% crit chance. And guess what? This has a 4 second cooldown. So this is literally you have forever 20% crit chance. Straight up. 40% attack speed or 20%. I think the crit chance is the play because right now I'm at 5%. So this is gonna exponentially give us damage. Attack speed's also good, but I'm gonna go here. That's my opinion. And we have 30% attack speed from this. We have so much attack speed anyway. We need we don't need more. We're gonna go set item. Wait, the rockets get flung out even if I don't hit. They're on the tally of 10 primary attacks. Yeah, it doesn't care. Oh, did that get hit there? I think I should I should have gotten hit. Let's go through here. Oh, I'm so... How? Just how? How? Like, it was so easy to not get hit there. How? Eh, whatever. My crits are insane. Open the set. I'm giving the thing I'm missing. Creator. Put the chance at close range. And... Oh, definitely. Definitely go Creator. This is useless now. So now I have 20% crit chance on close range. Nice. We're gonna go down here. Do I have anything I don't need? Did I get some kind of curse for some reason? No. Is my socket done? No. Well, I still have that door. And here we go. If I do a single purchase in here, we get evil. And evil gives us 75% crit damage on this. Boom. Done. Now let's start reading. Gale wind steps. Uh, increase movement speed. No. Rusty revolver. Does damage. Increase damage with can... Oh, this is a companion. Increase damage with guns and cannons. Useless. Legal gun parts. Super legal gun parts. Upgrades a gun on cannon level by 1 up to 5. Wow, that's a thing. Piranha gun. I love the things that we're getting here. Attacks and bows and crossbows gain 25% chance to trigger a uh, seeking fey arrow. Should I actually play with a Yumi bow? Rents 1 maximum companions. That's a charm. That's gonna give us 20% damage. I like that. Wait, did I, did I already have that? No, and then this is 5% crit hit chance. Oh, this is actually better. Take this. I mean, this is useless for us. We're gonna sell this. First of all, can we buy this? 29 souls. I do have 29 souls. Sell this. Let's buy one more companion slot. It's not gonna have two more. And that's just 20% more damage because they give me 10% increased damage per health. Uh, melee attacks do necrotic or bow attacks do the thrusting thing. I think melee attacks do necrotic. Spider Silk, it's a companion of this crit hit multiplier, and it counts as 0.5. Okay, this is obviously better than the one I have. So you get, so first of all, you also get sold. Wait. Yeah, that's the circle, forget that. That is useless for us now. Let's sell this. Hey, what else does he sell? Zombie Arm, 10% increased damage dealt to bosses. This is 40% damage, because once again, it counts as half. Increased lightning damage, Thunder Totem. 20 to 2,000 lightning magic damage. Each Thunderbird grants 100% increased top end lightning damage. Wow. Seems awesome. Am I Thunder? This is Thunder. Should I go into the lightning idea? I think this is better, man. This is 100% crit hit multiplier. And my crits are very heavy at this point. So it's spawn spiders. Is that awesome, but it doesn't fit. So what's my crit damage right now? What's my damage in general with crits? So 20% crit chance, 450% crit damage. And on the other weapon... Switch weapons, please. 20% and three, 300. Wait, what? How is this also 20%? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Shooting out rockets. What are you selling? 
Hey kid, when a cigarette has, triggers your on taking damage effects. Oh, cool. I don't want one, but cool as an idea. You have like 50 cigarettes and you just run opponents down and whatnot. Buy this, let's go sell it real quick. Yep, we're gonna sell you. Nice. Do I have anything here I don't care about? Still have the Defy Death. We have the Resin, we have the Curses. Yeah, I think we're good. Health, no. Let's go with a random Resin. Okay, that's an instant death. Ah, 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 this is the worst case. Boom. Okay, obviously, we're gonna drink a potion in a moment. Boom, gone. Let's drink the potion. Glunk. Crystal Ice. Okay, we have Crystal Ice twice now. Three strength. That is... Not really useful. Amplifies... Wait, wait. Twilight Branch. Amplifies random enhancement. Yeah, we had that. Precise is crit chance. No, this is useless. We have 50 of these. Strength once again useless. I prepare random loot. And uh, let's also drink a resin. We're at floor 10. You know what? Let's try to range shot these guys down. No close range melee. Nice, got him. Got those crits. Let's not forget that melee damage is my god damage. I'm shooting rockets out. Let's get two keys and a bomb. Nah, two keys is okay. Strength against them guys, that's completely useless. Melee weapon might as well. We have three keys anyway. I still have no dice. Trying to always kill the laser boys first. Oh, those are the most tiring one. No, that was almost a mistake, but luckiness was with us. Random rockets and anything else. Da 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 dagger. I never found the legendary dagger, by the way. Boom. Ah, could have happened. Maelstrom spins flail that damages. Let's look at it. Woo! Oh, wait. How often does it shoot rockets? That's not as fast as I would have hoped to be. Spins a flail that does damage. Wielding this weapon increase your movement speed to 10%. Okay. I'm gonna go armor, obviously. Lock chest that can do this. Who cares? I'm gonna go armor. Fling, flank, plonk. And then we're gonna go flask. Could go for souls too. By the way, my uh, thing is minus 2 on evil and plus 7 on lawful. Uh, off we go into flask. No. Laser boy. Got him. And didn't get hit. I just got my health back. And shop with 90 coins against said item. Still missing this. Uh, I would say shop though. Anti curse, a buff, power potion, 20% increased damage, last 10 rooms. Well, I'm still drinking my sake, it's still happening. Still waiting for this to go through. I can have up to two. Lose next in two, zero rooms. So I'm gonna lose one literally in the next room. Uh, I would say. Ah, oh, this is useless. I should have sold it. Eh, well, whatever, and that's gone. Drink the potion. Yeah, drink the potion, carry this with us. What is this? Random potion effect. Yeah, let's take a random potion effect. Oh, we got the flame around us. Awesome. Useless. Awesome. <laughs> How much is this? Three gold. You know what? Safety is better than just a couple of coins there. A key against Rancy Wood at the cost of health. Forget that existing. That does not exist in my book. You're toast. Man, the faster we run close to them, the, the, the faster we destroy them. Multiple potions. Or rewards. Let's go with multiple potions. No, you go down as fast as possible. Whoop. Run closer. Got him. Got him. I'm seeing the bows and arrows. Oh, I'm trying to predict where we're avoid. Man, sometimes, you know what I think I, it would really be awesome? If I could have that thing where the camera tracks uh, my eyes movement, agility potion, movement speed. Just drink it. Wrath potion, crit hit chance. Yeah, just drink it. Let's go on. Final rest. Yes. And by the way, let's also drink one of those. Tipsiness. You go somewhere away. I'm ready. Little Spiders accessory. The fight death is very boring. I would say let's go with accessory. And it's death, of course. Death must die. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's perfect for us. Him running towards some kind of direction. Okay, rain shots again. Oh, you're running towards me? You're gone. Let's try again. Look at all these crazy crits we're doing. Oh! That was a very good move on his part. Dodge everything, because just dodge. On away. So the more distance we have, the more lazy... And he's in the middle. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Easy enough. Boss is dead. We still have my shielding. Let's pick up my things. Let's see if I can get... I mean, the Death Defy is gonna get thrown out the moment I 
uh, use it. So let's see what we're gonna find here. Once per room and on death defy grants adrenaline and also gives you a death defy. So this is by definition better. Same effect plus adrenaline. Adrenaline helps increase damage for the room you got the death defy in. Each point of intelligence does nothing. And helps increase damage at close range. And that is what? An accessory. Grants arms in the ruthless hit chance on close range. Ruthless hit is high in damage. This is godlike. I mean, it says war boots for the set item, and obviously I cannot equip boots, so the this is not possible at all. Death Defy. I would say Death Defy is the safe option. Yeah, terms in close range damage is good, but let's go with the guaranteed. So we're now going with the Death Defy, the good version. And let's actually run towards the boss now. I still hope that we're gonna get at least one of the two sets we have. We literally have two sets. This needs armor and this needs crown. So one of these two should throw the other one out. I would prefer this to actually win out. Because I want the critical hits grand you berserk. This gate is open, locked. Here we got heaven, hell, and darkness. Let's go hell. As I do have a side mission on hell anyway. Here we go. There is after hell, I guess. Or weapon. Legendary weapon. Legendary weapon. I'm I'm hoping for the best here. Okay, that they got destroyed very fast. New enemies. Got them. I guess inflicting ice is what makes a difference. Yeah, I can just stay away. This shot this this arrow man is carrying us. This this bow. Let's see if I can get a god weapon. Bola crossbow. Deadly. 50% crit hit damage. <laughs> Inflicts bola. What is Bola? It's a stackable stats effect that after not refreshing it for one second, consumes all stacks up to five and then does damage. It's cool, but no. Uh, and obviously we don't have inventory room anyway. Is this? This is common. Might as well take this. I don't think we're going to find a... What is it called? Set item. I don't think we're going to find the... We're going to go set item. I don't think we're going to find uh, the guy that allows you... Pawn shop, pawn shop. The guy that allows you to sell your items, that is. We're sticking to the bow and arrow until something comes close to us. And then we're just daggering it down. Easy win. Easy win. Come on, give me the one of the two items I have. Stupid game. Uh, let's go with key because I just wasted my last key. Finding close to destroy these boys as fast as possible. Oh, that was a bad one. Is somebody... A circle is following me. Oh, it's like a body slam guy or something. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, we're fighting the, the guys that set up on the ground. Yeah, I see what the opponents are. Nice. 25, ooh, attack speed 2.5, yes. I would prefer if this was just straight up luck. Uh, straight up dexterity. Would have been a thaw. Did I just get hit? It, feel, it felt like I got hit. Something targeted me. You're done. You're done. Very nice. Get my increased attack speed instead of just getting this. This is better. Non-crits do more damage was that other thing. Dragon, you're toast. You're also toast, I hope. You're also toast. Man, the only thing I'm afraid of is explode on death. Plus one dex. Pretty chance. Set item, set item. I still gamble with the set item idea. Oh, meteors. Uh, that's the second dragon gone. That's the meteors, I guess. At the flippity flippity there. Nice, we still have lightning uh, effect thing going on. Nice, come on, give me one of the two items I have. Thunder mask, no. Plus five to maximum stacks of shock. Increased lightning damage, no. No, five dexterity is better. Increased attack speed, obviously we're gonna go with that. Where are we with booze and buffs? I'm okay. I'm not sure if I should drink the ice resin right away. Give me the dagger, please. Da 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 gone. I'm waiting for you to slam. Arrow shots because you're very far away and I don't want to risk anything. Hey, dragon. And bye, dragon. Man, the moment anything comes close. Daggers, gone. Attribute, that's dexterity. Okay, I got the bunch of pits in. And now I'm running away. I just run in, get all the hits. Pawn is toast. Run in, get hits, pawn's toast. I don't see any secret rooms. Final rest. Okay. Good items of tune. Yeah, whatever. And now we're going to definitely drink... The Saka stays still, right? Yeah, for one more room. We're definitely gonna go with the Ice Resin. So we do more damage. Pair of boots. Or Body Armor. The Body Armor might roll a Praetor Helmet. So I'm going for the Body Armor. And my Body Armor right now just gives us 5 decks, nothing else. 
So, oh, what is this? Tiamat. What brings the mortal into the depths of the underworld? I ponder whether you stand before me out of bravery or sure or whatever. I am Tiamat, the infernal queen overseen by the burning hells of Torment of Diamond. And for ages, blah 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 lies of Tiamat. Run close before the fight begins. Okay, seems like the fight begun. We're staying away now. Okay, very... Whoa, 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 almost got hit there. That green one appeared behind that purple one. Okay, that was nice. Let's run in again before he changes any pattern. I felt on the boss. Okay, this is a very classic pattern that a lot of games have. I would like to be able to hit the boss while this is happening. Nice, that's done. Boss appears in the middle, hopefully no explosions. I'm not doing that much damage. Okay, this is easy to dodge. So I guess this is the part where you hit him. Although they have increased defense. So the dev knows that this is the part where you're about to hit him. Do you perceive yourself a hero? Know this, you are nobody. You are lost and out of place. My thanks. I will shall end today. Kill them all. Okay, let's hope it's not gonna be just a random attack happening. It was not. Whoa! I wasted my dashes for no reason out of panic. Whoa! Too many things at the same time. Run away. The shotgun effect. Let's run close before it does anything. Da -da 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 -da. Laser beams. No, stay away. This is not easy. I got cursed. And I got also hit. I death defied. I'm dying. I'm dying. Uh, it, it's dying. Both are dying. Let's go daggers. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we got hit and we got revived and we lost the death defy and everything else. But we won. And I also got cursed 50 times. So time to drink one of the curse items. Aha. Uh -huh. And also, how much curse am I? Misk. I'm cursed twice. So also drink the other one. Boom. And just like that, we no longer are cursed. Prior armor, I found it. Let's go! Grants 30% increased damage dealt at close range. And we, when I crit, I get Berserk. And Berserk is a motion buff that grants 20% more attack and movement speed. Otherwise, when Orbital completes a full circle, who cares? Your mana star buff effect is... Yeah, whatever. Let me go here. So, we lose 5 uh, dexterity and we gain 30% increased damage dealt at close range. And also, my crits give us Berserk. So, are we done? Or do we go on? Only being of fury will can go deeper. Where does the alignment to your soul, immortal? Scales of evil will reach out of it. So I'm at minus two. It's most likely not gonna be enough. I'm not pure evil for sure. Unworthy, haha. You need minus pure four. Okay. Not that I could do anything about that, because there was no given chance of going even deeper. Like, I got the character that started with minus one, and then I got one thing that removed us another one. So, uh, yeah, I guess we were not allowed to go deeper. It is what it is. Can't really do anything about that. I hope we got the achievement that I beat the Guardian of Hell, because otherwise... We got it. Okay, so nice. Achieving this world objective unlocked Infernal Shops and enabled paths to unlock new classes. Here we go. So the Infernal Shop is the thing that most likely is going to allow us to go minus four in the Devil Act thing, right? That's my assumption here. Uh, is there another quest now? Oh, there is another quest now. Oh, look at this! Defeat the Guardian of the High Heavens. So I'm assuming that if I now go on the other door, the right door, I will unlock, I guess, a good shop or something relevant to a good shop so that I can scale also plus four goodness right because right now there was nothing that gave us goodness only evilness is something we gained sit on the celestial and infernal throne celestial throne zero and infernal throne zero okay once and then so i guess you go one time on the this darkness uh, evil fight and then you unlock the shop that allows you to scale the infernal shop that allows you to scale evil and then the same way when yeah exactly angelic shop which is gonna allow you to scale good right and then both of those scaling are gonna allow you to be able to get to the super secret boss after the boss i just fought and then if you do that on evil and good you unlock the abyss and then most likely the abyss unlocks something else so it's going very nice and awesome here in my opinion we still have not unlocked anything new as of the secret characters but it's going well i'm still at 30 out of 30 points i'm not sure if I, i'm not sure if paragon level is one to one with the points but i have 30 points because most likely i was playing the game so much back in the day because can i exit um, for a moment here if i go play it's says paragon 17 but runs 47 like i've played a lot and if you see a lot of these characters wins eight you know wins seven like my best characters are really some i have zero with uh but some i have a lot with and most likely tomorrow i'm gonna play this guy, which is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful characters. This guy can easily build a busted build. 
And yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got another win here. I tried to get more evil, but obviously not a choice. Couldn't do anything about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to continue doing busted runs in this if you guys are watching. So drop a like if you want to, I guess, see this continue existing. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.